Tokyo. You arrive with lots of expectation and type in your destination, Shibuya. Google will give you a path how to reach it. If you're in Shinjuku, you most probably will go by the Yamanote line. My recommendation to orientate yourself in Tokyo in this maze of train lines and station is the Yamalota line. The line goes in a circle through Tokyo and stops at a lot of tourist destinations like Tokyo, Shinjuku, Akihabara and of course Shibuya. This is a video in the series along the Yamanota line and I will visit the Pori station and surrounding area today which is known for its fabrics and a large cemetery. This is the bigger station on the Yamanote line and listed as tourist attraction. Therefore you can find a tiny tourist booth beside the escalator towards the east exit. I was keen to see the fabric street Nipori Chuodori. I received a map at the tourist information, but you can download at this link. I went on a Sunday and many shops were closed, therefore I recommend to go on a weekday if you are interested in fabrics. However, the museums like the Clock Museum or the Shodo Museum closing around 4 or 5 p.m. and they might be closed on Monday. I follow this route and went after that to the Yanaka Cemetery. Altogether I walked over 13,000 steps that day. From the few shops which were open on that day, I selected three shops I found interesting. First one is Ant Leather. On the map it's number 18. Ant Leather is a leather material retail shop. This is a shop full of metal fittings used for making leather goods. They have swages, grommets, spring hooks, zippers and swirls and more. All in different colors and sizes. The second shop is Elegance, which is number 30 on the map. Elegance main products are European fabrics. They have collected many high quality silks, cashmere, lace and more, which you can find only here. They prepare a large selection of cotton and hemp materials in summer and wool materials in winter. So you can make anything from dresses and formal wear to everyday wear. Last one is Tsukiyasu, which has a wide range of fabrics, is the number 41 on the map, including Japanese pattern. But for me, I thought the Japanese pattern dominated the shop. So other fabrics are for kindergarten and then polyester prints, crap, silk and wool. Yeah. For a Sunday I thought this was already quite overwhelming what I saw. We are now at the graveyard, that's the only thing which I do not understand why this is a tourist attraction, but let's see. Next is the Yanaka Cemetery. I'm not sure what is so attractive about this road. I find it rather uncomfortable, but it has its perks, especially old Japanese buildings and temples are along this red road. That's it for today. In my next video I will look at Ugo Izudani. See you then. Bye.